are in the second part of our beautiful crochet kitchen apron. You know, in the first part we finished the pockets and also the upper part. Now it is time to make the skirt and also the belt, uh, the uh, hang uh, and pom-poms, you know, these pom-poms and how to connect all them I will show you in this video. Let's go on uh, making the skirt, dear friends. Meanwhile, please remember to subscribe my YouTube channel, activate the info ring. Please leave like remarks and make comments and share my videos. We are in the second part of the kitchen apron. I'm taking my uh, blue yarn in my hand and I will use my three and a half millimeters uh, of hook. We are going to make firstly 110 centimeters of chain. Don't make the chains too uh, tight. Make them a bit loose so you can work on them easily. 110 centimeters length of uh, a skirt, apron skirt we are making, dear friends. For this reason, uh, nearly all the size uh, can easily use this apron. From the size 36 up to size 46 can easily use this kitchen apron, dear friends. Okay, let's make the chains firstly. 110 centimeters uh, of chains we are making, dear friends. I finished making 110 centimeters of chains. From now on, we all make a granny stitch in one color, I mean in this blue color. We are going to make uh, the skirt of the kitchen apron and the length of the kitchen apron is till your knee size or, or below your knee, upper your knee. That's completely depends on you, but at least we are going to crochet granny stitch till we uh, reach up to the up to our knee size. Now I made 110 chains and then I am making three chains. One, two. These uh, two chain is uh, in order to go to the upper row and one chain is uh, for the space. Now one, two, three chains. I am inserting my hook in the 110th chain, like this, dear friends. And I am making another double crochet in the next stitch. Now I made a block. I am considering this uh, first three chains as the first double crochet of this block and the second uh, double crochet and the third double crochet. Now I am making one chain. I am skipping uh, one chain space. I am going to the following chain and making a double crochet in there. I am going to the following chain, making another double crochet. I am going to the following chain and making another double crochet. I am making one chain. I am skipping this uh, next stitch. I am going to the following. I am making a block. Like this, dear friends. One block, one space. One block, one space. For the last time, I will explain you what we are doing. We finished one block. What am I? One moment. We finished uh, one block. What am I doing now? I am making one chain. I am skipping the next chain space. I am going to the following and I am making a double crochet in there. Like this, I made this space, dear friends. And I also uh, have a double crochet. Beside this, I will make another double crochet. I am going to the following chain, 
making another double crochet. Like this. All uh, things till the end of the chain, we are going to make this one. And like this, we are going to finish this row, dear friends. Uh, let's finish this row by making granny stitch. I mean, uh, one block consists of three uh, double crochet and then one space, one block, one space like this, as I explained uh, how to make this. And we are coming to the end, dear friends. Yes, I finished the first row of the apron skirt. <coughs> Dear friends, as you see, it is very long. If it is difficult for you to go on uh, making this on the chains uh, directly, I have another video. It is a flat uh, granny stitch foundation without chains. Uh, I'm leaving the link upper side. You can, I'm also sharing the link of this uh, chainless granny stitch uh, foundation, flat foundation in the info section. Just click there and if the if working on the long chains uh, difficult for you you can uh, go on making the first uh, round like this okay we finished the first round what am i doing i made three chains i'm turning back you know i finished block i advise you to start with block dear friends also finish with blocks now I'm in the second row. What am I doing? I made three chains, yarn, made yarn over and turn back. I am inserting my hook in the first stitch, uh, stitch space. And in there, I am making three double crochet totally. Uh, if, we, if, we, uh, have, if we are going to make space uh, when we go to the upper row, we are making three chains, dear friends. But uh, if the first uh, stitch is space and if we are going to make blocks on the space, for example, in the third row, we are going to make a block on this. For this reason, when we go to the upper row, uh, if it is space and we have to make block on this, we are going to make two chains in order to go to the upper row. But if we are going to make space like this in the first uh, stitch, we are going to make three uh, chains two chains is in order to go to the up and one chain is uh, for the space dear friends and between the uh, blocks we are always making one chain for the spaces we are making this three chains only when we start and when we go to the upper row and when we uh, have to make space and in the spaces, we are making three double crochet, dear friends. As you see, I made three double crochet. Uh, I finished my block and between the block, we are making one chain. We are skipping the block and inserting our hooks in the space. If you know the flat granny square, you already know this. But I am explaining for the very beginner people because I, I want to teach also very beginners about my projects. Yes, between the blocks we are always one chain and going to the space. We are not doing anything on the blocks. We are always making the new blocks on the upper row. We are making the double crochets in the spaces, dear friends. This is one double crochet. This is two double crochet and this is three double crochet. And between the blocks, we are making always one chain going to the uh, following space. We are making another three double crochet in this. Yes, dear friends, like this, we are making the same till the end of this row. I came to the end of the second row as well, like this. I am at the end. I am making one chain. I am inserting my uh, hook at top of the first double crochet. You know, this first double crochet is 
uh, three chains I am inserting my hook at the third chain of this first one and now we finished with the space now I will show you how we are uh, going to start in the upper row when we finish with space I am making one two chains when we finish with uh, space we are starting the upper row with two chains dear friends when we finish with blocks we are starting the upper row with uh, three chains in order to make this space since we finish with space we have to make block in this space for this reason i made two chains yarn over turning back I will make a block in this space. I am inserting my hook in there. I am make a double crochet, inserting one once again in the same space, making another double crochet. Considering the first three chains as the first double crochet, we made our block with three double crochets in the first uh, space, making one chain, always in the rows, in the flat rows, uh, between the blocks we are making one uh, chain for the space and now I am making my block in there with three double crochets I am making one chain going to the following space and making another block in there and dear friends it's going on like this from now on uh, all rows repeat uh, the previous one always we are going to repeat 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 the size of this uh, kitchen apron skirt will be from your waist till your knee dear friends if you want you can make a, a bit longer below your knee or uh, at your knee or upper your knee that's completely it depends how you like uh, the long of your skirt dear friends okay let's make granny stitch like this finish this square uh, make the longest length of the skirt uh, according what you like what you like and let's meet at the end dear friends dear friends I finished the skirt of the kitchen apron I measured it for you it is 46 centimeter from waist to knee uh, it will be a bit upper uh, on my knee I cannot show you the whole because I'm making the video with uh, my cell phone from right to left it is uh, 110 centimeter from waist to knee it is uh, 46 centimeter dear friends uh, if you finish your skirt according to uh, your size your own body size uh, I can show you what we are going to do the next one moment once again let me try to show you it's like this dear friends from right to left it is like this and you also see from waist you also see from waist to knee this is waist to knee this is right to left on the side like this I am at the end what am I doing I am making one chain and I am cutting the yarn I am uh, going to the place where I start this skirt now uh, this will be the, uh, the place that I start will be the uh, side at my waist uh, like this uh, it's being more neatly I am inserting my hook at beginning I am taking the same color yarn I am taking the yarn from now on we are going to make single stitches there will be no chains for example I made a single stitch in there I am going to the block and making another single stitch on there going to the hole and making another single stitch in there going to the block making another single stitch like this 
we are going to make one single stitches on each block and also on each uh, space like this in block inserting my hook making a single stitch going to the space inserting my hook in there making a single stitch like this uh, we are coming to the end dear friends yes dear friends I came to the end of this row by making single stitches uh, one in the space one in the block one in the space one in the block now I am at the end you know it's being uh, shrink it like this you see we shrink the uh, waist side I am at the end now what am I going to do uh, I am finished uh, for now uh, with the uh, blue uh, blue yarn this is the last block I am inserting my hook in there making a single stitch uh, now I am going to make I am going to uh, found uh, the belt on this shrinked uh, row. Why making the waist? What I am going to do? You see this pocket, purple, pink, orange, yellow, like this. It's going on. I will follow uh, the same. I will follow the same row. I am going to make uh, single stitches. By following these rows I am taking the purple color in my hand because as you see I started with purple first of all I should uh, fix this purple color you know I am at the end I made my last single stitch in there I am turning back like this pulling this one I will go on making single stitches one by one dear friends first of all I am making one chain uh, I am going to the fall I'm going uh, you know I'm going to the following space like this I am going to the following meanwhile I am cutting the blue yarn After cutting the blue yarn, I am being careful that I am keeping this on the row, so I am hiding them. I am going to the following single stitch space, making... I am hiding them like this. Now, I am going to the following single stitch, making a single stitch in there. Going to the following single stitch, making another single stitch in there like this going to the following making another single stitch in there like this yes we started to uh, we start to found the belt uh, on the skirt dear friends we are making the belt like this we are going to the end, dear friends. I came to the end of the row, dear friends, by making single stitches one by one on the blue color. Now I am looking at the uh, pocket part. I made the purple color. Now it is a uh, turn to make with a uh, pink color. And then after that, orange color, yellow color, dark pink uh, dark purple color green color like this I will make uh, the uh, I will make I will follow these rows uh, the size of this depends on you if you say it's enough for me uh, you can uh, leave it there I will show you uh, I will I will tell you the size of my uh, belt when I finish this now I am taking the per, uh, pink color in my hand the last time I will show you later on you can go on and you can finish it yourself because it is always uh, repeating the previous row I fixed this I am making one chain and I am also cutting the purple color I will keep all these uh, on the row in order to hide them 
Now I am going to the following single stitch and making a single stitch in there. I am going to the following uh, single stitch space and making a single stitch in there. Going to the following single stitch space and making a single stitch in there. Going to the following and making a single stitch in there. You see, at the same time, I am hiding the remaining ends. Going to the following and making a single stitch in there. Dear friends, like this, I am coming to the end. After that, I am going to go on with the purple color. Uh, you will follow the colors on your uh, pockets, dear friends. Like this, let's finish the belt. I finished the belt side. Let me show you closely. Like this, dear friends. You see the shirt side. It's been a kind of skirt. Let me show you like this. From now on, I'm going to make a belt here, from here, and also from this side in order to tie it at our back. Here when I make this colorful belt in front side I used all the colors here from here till here I used all the colors. I st we started with blue single stitch and we finished with blue single stitch. Now I am at the end. I am going to make a uh, the belt uh, in order to tie the kitchen apron at our uh, back. For this reason, I'm not cutting the green yarn. I am making one chain. First of all, I am going to make single stitches one by one. After single stitch, I am going to make this uh, granny stitch. I made one chain. One moment. Let me show you closely. And one by one, I am going to make single stitch in order to found the granny stitch on this uh, neatly. One by one, making granny stitch and coming to the end of this colorful side, dear friends. I came to the end of the colorful uh, belt. Now we are ready to make the foundation with granny stitch as a belt. I am making one, two chains, turning back. Yarn over. I am going to the following single stitch and making a double crochet in there. I, we also made two chains and we have now two double crochet. We are considering the first two chains as the first double crochet. I am going to the following chain space, making another double crochet. Now we are making one chain. We are skipping, uh, we are skipping one uh, single stitch, going to the other, making another double crochet going to the following making another double crochet going to the following stage and making another double crochet like this we are making one chain going to the skipping one stitch going to the following and making a double crochet going to the following stage making another double crochet and going to the following stage making another double crochet making one chain skipping one stitch going to the other one single stitch pardon one double crochet second double crochet and inserting my hook in the last stitch one moment it's a bit tight and making my last double crochet uh, block space block space block space block we started with block uh, I finished with a uh, block 
now I am on the second row of the granny stitch I am making one two three chains why I am making three chains this time because I am going to make a space on this block two chain is we are using two chains in order to go to the upper row and we are using one chain I mean the third chain in order to make the space I am skipping these three double crochets inserting my hook uh, in the space you know we are making blocks uh, always in the space when we make granny stitch yes I made a block I am making one chain going to the other space and making another block in there making one chain going to the other space and in this space making another block I am making one chain and going to the top of the last double crochet the last double crochet is the two chains when we start you will remember like this yes we finished the second uh, row of the granny stitch as well for the last time I'm showing you one two chains this time why because we are going to make double crochet in this when we make the space like this we are making three chains but when we make a uh, block in in the space when we start the upper row we are making two chains you see we are considering these two chains as the first double crochet second double crochet the third double crochet making one chain going to the following space and making another double crochet and third double crochet we made the block dear friends like this we are making uh, we are making the continue of this uh, belt in, we are going to tie this belt at our back with a bow uh, firstly uh, make it 50 or 60 centimeters after that uh, you can try it on you and if you need uh, you can go on more when when I finish uh, my belt I'm going to tell you I'm going to measure and tell you how many centimeters I made okay let's go on making this belt as I explained to you dear friends from now on we are going only with this blue color we are not uh, using other colors I finished the belt belt uh, at one side dear friends it's been like this I made it a bit long because uh, it's becoming nice uh, at the back while making bow uh, now uh, I'm here I'm going to make a triangle shape in here I'm gonna show you how I am going to make it I am making one chain turning back uh, till this space uh, I am I will make uh, slip stitches I am making one slip stitch I am going to the following stitch making another slip stitch I am going to the other making another slip stitch now I am in the space I am uh, inserting my hook in there making a slip stitch what am I going to do one two chains I am making and I am making a block in this space one chain going to the following space making another block in there one two and three one chain going to the following space making another block in there yes we started decrease uh, now I am making one chain I'm not doing anything because it is already decreased I am turning back and since this is block I am starting making slip stitches
Yes, I made three slip stitches on the block. Now I am inserting my hook in the space, making another slip stitch, making one, two chains, and I will make a, a block in this space. Once again, yes, I am making one chain going to the following space. making a block in there I'm not making anything here it's already decreased I am making one chain turning back I am making three slip stitches on the block one two three and one more slip stitch in the space one two i will make my last block and i will finish uh, this belt at one side of the apron you see it's been more beautiful like this i am making one chain we are cutting the yarn later on we will hide this and I'm going to tell you how many centimeters I made my belt. Let me measure it. I measured it. It is 79 centimeters, dear friends. Till here, I measured it from here. When you find 79 centimeters, you can uh, make this triangle shape. Okay, dear friends, uh, we made belt at one side. We are going to make the same thing at the other side as well. You know, we make the belt here like this. We will tie this at our back with a bow and we are going to make the same at this side as well. I finished the belts at the both sides. This is one side. This is the other side. Now I'm going to make single stitches all around the both sides of the belts from here all around uh, both sides I'm going to make single stitches dear friends I am taking my yarn in my hand let me show you this is the belt I'm going to start from somewhere for example here from here all around I will make single stitches at this side and also that side. I will apply the single stitch at uh, both sides of the belts. Like this. I am inserting my hook in this. I am making one chain. I am keeping this on the upper side. And one by one I am making single stitches. two single stitches uh, for example two single stitches in the block side two single stitch uh, in the space for example now I am on the block I am making two single stitch in there and I am going to the space and making two single stitch in there dear friends like this make single stitches all around the both uh, sides of the both belts and let's finish uh, uh, this section. I finished making single stitches at one side of the belt, yeah. like this, here and here, uh, also the edge. I finished the uh, uh, single stitch. This is the other side. You can see the difference. One moment, let me. This is with single stitch, this is without single stitch. One moment. Yes, you can see the difference, dear friends. With single stitch, the sides are more neatly. Uh, 
and I am going to make single stitch also at the other side so the both uh, belts will be with single stitches this side and also this side all around I'm going to make single stitch at the other side as well I finished making single stitches at both sides of the both belt, uh, belts dear friends yes now I am going to sew uh, this top side we are going to sew up this one let me show you like this like this yes this is the top part of the apron this is the skirt of the apron now I am going to tell you how we are going to add this uh, top part to the skirt this is the front side of the skirt this is the front belt of the skirt I am now folding this you see I am folding into two pieces like this and this is uh, just the center this is the center of the belt yes dear friends here and here I folded it into two pieces like this this is the front side and just uh, to the center uh, of this I am uh, putting a stitch marker yes I determined it with a stitch marker and this is the top part of the apron I am also folding this like this this is the center of this as well I am putting a stitch marker right here Yes, I put a stitch marker to the center of this uh, top uh, part as well. Now I will uh, sew, sew them uh, both parts. This is the front side of this and this is the front side of the apron like this. Front sides uh, look each other. The front side of the upper part and the front side of the skirt looks uh, face to face and I am putting together this this is the center of the skirt this is the uh, center of the apron uh, these will be get together I am taking this stitch marker and connecting this with the skirt yes the centers match now okay I put them together now from now on I am going to uh, I'm going to sew them with a stitch marker I am fixing them to each other yes with another stitch marker I am fixing the other side as well okay now it is easier to sew up this is the back side this is also the back side of the skirt and the front sides looks uh, face to face each other I will sew up uh, like this I am taking the stitch marker at one corner and I am starting to sew up with a needle dear friends like this we are sewing it up till the end be careful uh, since this uh, side is the back side be careful the pom-poms uh, should be in the front side like this I finished sewing up this is the front side you see like this I sew up from the back side dear friends this is the back side as I showed you I sew up at the back side and I am going to sew up also the pockets in order to determine where I will sew up the pockets uh, I folded the skirt into two pieces like this uh, this is the upper side of the skirt this is the knee side of the skirt 
you see I folded it like this one pocket will be at this side and the other pocket will be at this side and I am also I also have to determine where I should put the pockets I am folding it once again like this once again I am folding it I am also folding the pocket like this I am trying to find the centers this is the center of the pocket and this is and this is the center of the uh, second part of the skirt you know uh, we will make uh, we will uh, uh, put uh, two pockets on this this is the center of the one side uh, we are I am doing the same thing as I did at the upper side I am just determining it from here and also from here I am determining I am also determining the side like this and uh, I will uh, try it on me and I, I will decide uh, I will determine where I should uh, start to sew up dear friends I tried to apron on me and I determined the pockets at both sides as I explained to you dear friends uh, I determined uh, the places with stitch markers also this one now I am going to sew it up as I sew up uh, the upper part Dear friends, as you see, uh, I sew up the both pockets. I showed you how you are going to determine the places of the pockets. You can uh, determine the places of the socket, uh, pockets on the skirt while uh, trying it on yourself. It will be better. Let me show you. After sewing up uh, the pockets, I made uh, single stitches here. Here I made single stitches, dear friends. You can make uh, one side a single stitch before sewing up as well. And uh, after finishing the sewing up, uh, I made uh, this kind of laces at both sides and I shrinked a bit uh, the pockets. Why I did it? When you uh, wear this in time, uh, since the pockets are bigger, it's coming to the front like this. And it's not uh, becoming uh, nice like this. But uh, if I make uh, laces at both sides and when I shrink them a bit, it's be uh, becoming, uh, it's standing more neatly, dear friends. And after uh, sewing up this, uh, there are some little details to make. Uh, I am now uh, crocheting the lace at uh, next side. Uh, I will try it later on uh, on my uh, on me, and I will uh, I will cut it later on. Uh, you can decide about the length of this hang of this lace uh, at the next side according to your size. Uh, it is the same, dear friends. One, two, three, four, uh, four blocks. There is. Uh, it is a bit. Uh, it is a bit shorter uh, from the belt side uh, lace. This is longer. Uh, I mean, the length is bigger and the length is smaller here at the next side. And after uh, sewing up this next side here, like this, I am going to sew up. Not telling you the length of this next side because um, you will decide it according to your size when trying it uh, yourself. Uh, after that I will make I will go on making pom-poms here dear friends let me show let me show you from here here and the other side all will be with pom-poms dear friends now I'm going to show you how I made uh, these laces it is very easy uh, I made also this side there is only one part left uh, first of all you are making uh, you are making 40 chains don't make the chains 
tight make the chains a bit loose because we are going to make single stitches on this the only thing you should do just make 40 chains and after that make one more chains in order to go to the upper row and one by one make single stitches on these chains dear friends as you see I made 40 chains now I am making one more chain and I am inserting my hook in the fourth uh, chain and making a single stitch going to the following chain space and making another single stitch like this we are coming to the end by making single stitches by inserting our hook one by one in each following uh, stitch space dear friends come here to the end by making single stitches I will show you what we are going to do the next I finished making single stitches like this now I am going to sew up uh, in front uh, in front side of the uh, pocket for this reason I am making a chain and then I need some yarn for this reason I am leaving the remaining end a bit long I will use this in order to sew it I am taking a yarn needle in one moment I'm taking a yarn needle in my hand I uh, insert the yarn end uh, into the hole of the needle now I am going to sew it up I'm going to show you how you are going to make it I already sew up uh, this side I will sew up in the front side not this side but, uh, I'm sorry in the back side like this uh, this is purple for this reason I am going on on the purple side this purple side is the last one two three one two three uh, row dear friends the last three row I turned back sorry here it's standard sewing up dear friends a few times I am sewing and I am trying to fix it like this yes there is another end yarn end here I will sew it up yes like this and then I am cutting the last remaining ends after sewing up you see some holes here I will insert this I will uh, pull through get through the lace through these uh, holes like this shrinking a bit like this you can decide uh, how much you should shrink when, when you try the apron on yourself like this when we make this it's standing uh, more neatly on us and as you see uh, later on I will try this neck side uh, hang here on myself and then I will also sew it up here and later on you know it is uh, time to make pom-poms here this is the belt you know this is the side of the skirt all around the side of the skirt we are going to make the same this pom-poms I will show you shortly how you are going to make the pom-poms actually I have another video for the pom-pom border but anyhow let me show you shortly dear friends let me show this is the belt this is the uh, waist side uh, we are going to start from the first block dear friends I am inserting my hook in the first block and I will fix uh, the yarn first I am making one I'm making one chain I'm going to the following stitch space making a single stitch in there 
I am going to do one moment. Let me make it a bit bigger. I am going to the space, making a single stitch, making one, two chains. I'm making a long loop, inserting my hook in the first chain like this. Four times pull through I'm going to make. This is one time pull through. This is second time pull through. This is third time pull through. And this is four time pull through. After making four time pull through, I'm making yarn over, keeping the yarn, keeping the this uh, loops and make them all through together and yarn over pull through pull uh, i'm going to pull these together like this uh, one puff stitch is finished i'm making two chains and i'm going to make another puff uh, on this we are making two puff stitches on top of another we have already made one now we are going to make the second one Two, three, yes, four times pull through we made, dear friends. After making four times pull through, I'm making pull them all through together, yarn over pull through. I'm closing this, making one chain, and I'm folding this in order to make a bigger uh, pom pom and after folding from back side to the front side i am inserting my hook like this and i will close it slip stitch you know one pom pom is finished i am going to the following stitch making a single stitch in there going to the following making another single stitch and now going to the space and making another single stitch and then making two chains long loop in the first chain making four times pull through one two three four yarn over i am keeping this keeping also the loops on the hook pull them all through together yarn over and th there are two loops on the hook now yarn over pulling them through together one two chains making a long loop and we are making the second uh, puff stitch on the other this is the one this is two this is three and this is four yarn over pull through together like this making one chain now on top of another there are two puff stitches falling like this from back side to the front I am uh, inserting my hook like this making a slip stitch second puff is finished now I am going to the following stitch space on the block making single stitches one by one inserting my hook in each stitch space now going to the space after that making two chain and starting the third puff yes dear friends i explained to you shortly uh, if you need more details uh, i made the i'm putting the link on the right side upper i will also give you the link in the info section you can look at that video as well like this dear friends all around the skirt all around the skirt one moment you are going to make this pom-pom. This is the side of the skirt. This is the uh, lower part of the skirt and the other part of the skirt. Three sides of the skirts. You are going to make these pom-poms, dear friends. 
Okay, let's finish this pom poms. Likely, uh, after that, our uh, our uh, kitchen apron is finishing completely, dear friends.